reading her words. What is important every day is no longer about work. It's about life. A life widow Paul Hansen leads now without his Laura. She was my, my wife, the love of my life, my best friend, my partner. Married 32 years. There's so much about the beauty of their relationship. Laura's sister Karen knows the heartache. I feel like, you know, her time was cut short. The loss of a leading lady on Minneapolis's Troop America stage. She really just struck out on her own, became an actress, made her living as an actress. Before battling ovarian cancer, on and off for more than a decade. Oh, yes, you look stupid. You're supposed to. With some comedic appearances for doctors and Madison survivor groups along the way. That's the way you're gonna learn the symptoms and that's the way we're gonna remember them. Be bloated. Always with a wry sense of humor and towards the end, a memoir mission. She just decided she wasn't gonna wear wigs and so she said, oh, I know what you guys can do. Please send hats. Laura died at 62 in 2016 with one request, please send hats. She said, I, you know, I, I, I may not finish the book, but I want you and Karen to make sure that it's finished, edit it, and publish it. To keep Laura's memory alive, these two spent more than a year working to publish Laura's memoir. It was really hard at first, because if I wanted to change where a period was or put a comma, I was like, Paul, is this okay? And then finally he was like, oh, that, you know, that I think fits better, that flows better. And so it, was, it, it took a long time to touch her words and um, adjust them and really want to do that with her voice. And yeah. we, we didn't add anything. <laughs> and there were certain parts where I kind of would have liked to, to you know, make me more of a hero <laughs> in the story. But the true hero to these two, Laura and her legacy, to inspire and support. Actually also beautiful because she was a mentor to me and I know she was a mentor to so many people. In Madison, Katherine Larson, Spectrum News.